Hey everybody, I'm Nate Edwards with BYU Photo, and today we're going to set up the FTP transfer with the Sony Alpha 1. Now, if you haven't seen our video that we made on the why behind a wireless workflow, please go watch it. I think that is very valuable information to have. So we also have a video that shows how to set up on your FTP site. So by the time you go to your camera, you're good to go. So let's jump right into the menu and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so let's go down to the network tab, this green globe, and then to menu for Wi-Fi, and then over to access point set. So this is where you choose your Wi-Fi connection. You can always go here and change which Wi-Fi you connect to when transferring to your FTP site. A lot of times I just use my cell phone. Some of our on-campus venues provide a Wi-Fi network, or sometimes we just have a little MiFi wireless hotspot that we carry around. So let's go to access point set, And we're going to connect to Y Photo 3. So then go ahead and enter the password. Hit OK. Priority connection. If this is a Wi Fi network that you're going to be using a lot, I would suggest turning this on. That way it'll automatically connect. Hit OK. All right, so it says registered. Hit OK. Let's go back to our menu. Now let's go up to menu two to FTP transfer function. All right, so we want to make sure the FTP function is turned on. Connects to our Wi-Fi. FTP connect method is already on Wi-Fi. If not, make sure to change it to that. Then let's go to server setting. So select a server that hasn't been used yet. The A1 gives you nine options to set that up. If none have been set up, you can just select server one. Since we mostly just use our live gallery, typically we only have one server set up, but you can add as many different locations to upload as you want to. If you do that, you'll need to set that up on your FTP site. So let's go over here to server four. Now note, you can select the server by filling in that bubble, but to actually change the settings on it, or to set the settings, you have to highlight where it says server and then whatever number server you are. So hit OK on that. So display name. Since we typically only send FTP photos to our PhotoShelter Brands site, I'm just going to simply call this Brands so I know where it's going. And you can put anything in here. This is just a descriptive word that lets you know where you're sending it. And then hit OK. Then go to destination settings, host name. So if you watch the video that we have on setting up your FTP site to Photo Shelter or your Photo Shelter brand site, this is where you put in that ftp.photoshelter.com. Or if you're using another FTP site, this is where you'd put that in. And select OK. A secure protocol you can keep off. Port 21, that's what Photo Shelter uses. Your FTP site may say something different. So whatever it is, just put it in there and hit OK. So don't worry about directory settings. Let's go to user info settings. Now this is where you put the username and password that you created on your FTP site. Let's go ahead and type that in. And hit OK when you have that all typed in. Then hit OK again. So make sure that server four is selected and then hit OK. So then it shows that it's connecting to our brands, it's showing our Wi-Fi that it's connecting to, and now we're connected. All right, so let's go down to more menu options. Make sure that auto FTP transfer is off. Well, again, this is a personal preference. If this is on, it will send all the photos you take. For me, I want to be very selective on which photos get sent, and so I'm going to keep this off, and I will choose the photos that I want to send. So scroll down a little bit more, and then you can pick which images you want to transfer. 
All right, so you can choose here if you want to send your JPEG or HEIF file, your just your raw file, or both raw JPEG or your HEIF file. I'm typically just going to choose JPEG because when I'm sending these, it's just for social media use at that time. So I just need a small file size. If you send your raw file, it takes a lot longer to send and it's just not needful in the moment. Transfer JPEG size, same thing. I'm just gonna pick a small size. This is going on social media, so you don't need anything large. I would also make sure the FTP power save is off. That way it'll stay connected and you won't have to reconnect after your camera goes to sleep. So let's go back up here to transfer target. This is a really neat option that the Sony Alpha 1 offers. So if you're sending video, you can choose if you wanna send just your proxy video, the original video, or both your original and proxy video. So if I'm at a game and I wanna send a really cool shot that happened, FTP, so they can get that out on social media, I'm just gonna send a proxy video. I think that's one of the cool things is you can send just a small video size that they can get up on social media almost immediately. I mean, this is a huge game changer to be able to send video. One thing I like to do is set the function button on the back of my camera as my FTP transfer button to use when I want to send an image. You, you can set up any button I think you want to do this. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go over to the setup menu and over to menu three, operation customize. Now I'm going to go down to the third menu with the little play sign next to it, custom key setting. And then on the rear, this number three button right here, I'm choosing, you don't want FTP transfer, I'm gonna choose FTP transfer this image. That way when I'm reviewing my images, I can choose exactly which photo I wanna send, push the button, and it will send it. All right, so to demonstrate all this, I'm gonna go live view here. My students filming this, they're waving a little bit, take a couple shots, all right, now I'm gonna be switching to video mode. Recording a quick video of our students there. All right, so let's hit play to review. There's our video, there's our photo. FTP is connected up there, so let's hit the function button. Start sending our photo. You see that it's working right up there. And we'll go over and send our video at the same time. And then when your photo or video is sent, there's a green FTP check mark that lets you know that it's successfully been uploaded. All right, so now we go to our Photo Shelter File Flow app, and uh, both the photo and video are sitting there waiting for us to share on social media or to send wherever we need to. Pretty awesome. All right, so hopefully this was helpful guiding you step by step in setting up the Sony Alpha 1 for FTP transfer. If you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below or email us at photo at byu.edu and uh, we'll be happy to help any way we can. We'll see you later.